YouTube and welcome back F Bomb again here for another game review. Today we're going to play a game called Grid Legends. I've played a lot of the Grid series games. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the game and then we'll go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. I'm excited because I love racing games so this is right up my repertoire. So anyways uh, it is developed by Codemasters and published by Electronic Arts. Uh, this game was released on February 24th of 2022 and I'll go ahead and read you the description of the game. It says Grid Legends delivers thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel motorsports and edge of your seat action around the globe. Create your dream motorsport event, hop into live multiplayer races, be part of the drama and in an immersive virtual production story and embrace the sensation of spectacular action racing sounds exciting don't it well i guess we're gonna see let's go ahead and dive in and i'll see you at the end all right so we're in the game let's see what this is all about uh, the home screen is where you can quickly resume from where you left off from last or find new suggested events to participate in you can also access your messages view your progress or enter a quick race uh, do we want to do a quick race? So many options. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a quick race just to get our feet wet. And then we'll go to the story mode and work our way through there, I guess. I don't know. Searching. Joining session. Are we doing an online race? Is that what the quick race is? All right. We're in a Ganetta G40. GT5. Um, select car. Do not own this vehicle. Do you like to loan it? This will cost you 50% of any of your winnings. Loan vehicles will not earn driven distance towards unlocking upgrade. Sure. Uh, I guess we are in an online lobby because I see another racer right here. Um, Green Park Loop will be the track in London. Infinite laps. Oh, it's an elimination race. Don't know how that works, but I guess we'll see. Oh, well, the host has left the session, so it says I am now the host. Um... Okay, so quick join wasn't that great to uh, deal with first. So um, we'll just go to story mode. What is this? Driven to Glory. Season 1, Driven to Glory. Start your journey with Seneca Racing as they fight for survival in the Grid World Series. Or Season 2, Classic Carnage. Valentin Man Manzi invites you to smash, crash, and race. In his classic Carnage series. Um, the season locked. Head to the store to unlock the season. No, I don't want to buy anything. Uh, back. So I guess we're just going to go with the uh, Driven to Glory. With just days to go before the Grid World Series starts, Seneca Racing Team Principal Marcus Otto has had a tip-off about a new talent of it, at an amateur driving showcase event. I gotta finish ahead of Matteo Vega. Well, before we start, let's go ahead and look through the menu of what they have to offer, I guess. So here's the home screen. See all kinds of different things. I guess these are like challenges we can do. And there's a store um, progression. I'm guessing that's where you see your stats and credits. Um, here's the career. Uh, it's telling me events completed, so I'm guessing uh, there are different events for each category. I guess you work your way through. Like this one has zero out of eight, so I guess after eight I would unlock semi-pro, and then uh, so on and so forth to unlock them all. Social. Uh, this must be online lobbies. Okay. Race creator. The race creator screen lets you create and host your own events. There are four slots to save your favorite setups. Select a save slot will allow you to customize your events and mix and watch or mix and match the rule set you want. Created events can be played either alone or hosted online so others can join. Okay, so this is where you create your race lineup. Uh, here's the garage. I guess these are the cars that I own. Do I own these two cars? I guess so. They don't have a price beside of them. I don't know. I'm not quite sure though. Oh yeah, because it shows that I can... Add upgrades, and then this one says purchase. So I'm guessing this is one that I don't own. So I got a pretty good lineup of cars, it looks like, to start with. Not bad. Not bad. I can handle that. Okay, so here's my team. The team screen is where you can set up, manage, and customize your own race team. You can change any of these at any time, so don't worry if you change your mind later. Uh, here's team profile. Here's the sponsor. Uh, mechanic development. Team development. Nice, cool. And then your options screen, of course. 
All right, so let's go with the story, just like we started with here. Let's go on to a race. I am playing on controller. Uh, I do not have a wheel hooked up, and I'm not playing on keyboard, so I can only give feedback on how the car drives with a controller. I will try keyboard and my wheel uh, before I do the final review. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain, and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. Contact! In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. It's on? Yeah. 16 minutes earlier. Okay. My name is Marcus Ado, and I'm the team principal for Seneca Racing. Hey, gorgeous. No, 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 no. We uh, have that um, dinner with the board of directors tomorrow. Uh huh. Some people are born into racing. I had to work for it. My parents run a Nigerian restaurant in South London. And for them, success was never about fancy dishes or expensive ingredients. It was about believing in who they hired and always striving to grow. When I got a chance to run my own racing team, I took the same approach. Money too. Hey, there she is. In case you live under a rock, this is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. I got a sec to talk about the new braking system. Sure. Marcus Ado is something of a prodigy. He was only 25 when he convinced Seneca's board to start investing in unknown drivers and to hire him to run the team. He has the maturity of someone twice his age, and that's gained him enormous respect. The only problem is his approach hasn't worked. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. This year's replacement performed so poorly in pre-season trials that he quit before the first race. Is it an embarrassment? No. You have to see the bigger picture. Finding a great recipe involves experimentation. Sure, we had a few rough years, but once we succeed, and I really believe we're going to, we may well become the best team on the grid. But for now, what? Season starts in three days, you're down a driver. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find a new driver. All right. Please make your way to your seats for this driver showcase event. It's a great day for London. it, and our racers are raring to go and eager to impress. Finish ahead of Matteo Vega. I can go to tuning screen, options, start, race, or leave. I'm going to go to tuning. Okay, it looks like these are scroll bars. Very uh, simple. Our setups i like that a lot i uh, will just leave them all in the middle because i'm not entirely sure what we need what we're doing so that is default so we'll go with it options uh it's just the game options and let's go ahead and start the race here we are driver 22. Let's aim to place in front of Vega. He's been having some good races recently.
they wrecked in front of us? All right, one lap left. Keep your position ahead of Vega. Oh, this guy's wrecked it. three we'll take it a uh, little rundown on this by the way i forgot to tell you uh, in the settings i did change this to like the ultimate setting and turned off all all the assists the car feels fine it doesn't feel unstable in any way shape or form very easy to drive just need to know the tracks because i don't know them right now right nice driving today i'll be shocked if it didn't catch addo's eye what a race. Oh, yeah, Some great events. performances today. Were any of them up to Seneca's level, though? Earned 10,000 G. We're rich. Oh, wait. 11. Got some race craft. Still on driver level 1. Okay, looks good. Uh, I guess we can move on. Yes. Good first race. Open wheel racing will be the next one up. London, 18th February. Seneca Racing. So you're looking for a new driver. What kind of traits does Seneca look for? <laughs> Thank you. Um, You're Marcus Talker. It's more of a spark of talent I'm looking for. Not necessarily the driver out in front. So if I see that spark out there, you better believe I'm picking up the phone and making a call. Thank you, Marcus. So Fantastic to, see to have you here. The drivers are going to have to show real skill if they have dreams of participating in the Grid World Series. All right. Impress Marcus Addo. Uh, finish eighth or higher. That is our objective. Plain and simple. We are in some open wheel rides. All right. It's good. Hey, you heard that right. Addo is scouting a new driver for Seneca. This could be your break. You've got nothing to lose. Give it your best shot. P11. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. You're going too slow, bro. Tim. All right, last lap. Here we go. Here. Off 
Could be one on the outside. Watch out! Nice up the B5. Yes, they did. B4. Oh, go, little car, go! Can we get him at the line? We did. Right, nice. Right. Honestly, I don't think there's <laughs> any way a doe could ignore your performance today. I've got a feeling you'll be having some very interesting discussions. Congratulations. All right, all right, all right. An amazing race we've just seen. Some genuine talent out there down on track. Genuine talent out there. All right, so we did what we came to do. On to the next one. All right, this is P3. I'm sure Marcus Ado has his eyes set on one of our talented drivers after that performance. Bit unlocked. Team Logo unlocked. Nice. Team Logo unlocked. Two of them. Three of them. Four of them. Okay. Also done well. Let's see how much uh, money we earned. Nice. Not a lot. But we'll take it. Those were the Beltra open wheel. What vehicle that was. Now we've moved up to driver level two. Oh, another team logo. Yes, I know. I know, I know. All right, here we go. And Seneca continued to have trouble during testing with multiple drivers involved in on-track incidents. No mistakes this time. Spins out on the straight. It's not good. Run it again, but with less throttle. Don't worry, just superficial damage. Didn't enjoy that, huh? Trophy trucks, nice. Oh. We'll get there. I promise. They now look to their new signing, taking on the number 22 to turn around this bad spell. Oh, check, nice. Check. This is Ajit, lead engineer. Ajit. We've had a few bad days with the test drivers and I still need help with the setup, so give me a few laps and please bring the car back intact. Okay, we'll try. I have no promises. Crescent Valley. Seneca testing. Complete three laps. That is our only objective. Time trial. Nice car. Let's see what this car can do. Push it. Okay, 22. For the first race of the series, we'll need you to keep up with you, mate. So while you're getting data for a Jeep, just get a feel for the car. Not really familiar with the tracks, so just winging it for now. Accidents happen, but in a race scenario, mistakes will cost you places. If you want to try a corner with a touch of handbrake, I'd like to see you control the slide. Handbrake? Not controlled. I feel like you have so much grip in this game. Let's see if we can hit top speed in this section. Great time. Let's see if you can find any more pace. Uh, 
Okay, next corner is flat out, but keep it under control. That was not a flat out corner, bro. System though. Who needs fuel and racing? About to finish lap two. Great work. Addo did say you were good. He wasn't wrong. Right-hander is great to practice a power slide. Session on must over. Okay, big push to the finish line now. First, I was racing me. Let's see what they think. Oh, I uh, clicked that too early. Don't know what I unlocked. Got some money. Cost of the some money. Cracked. Got some points. Oh, almost level uh, driver level three. Okay. Continue. I'll tell you what. There's not much of a difference in the feel of cars so far. There's just different speeds, but the feel of the car does not feel any different between the between the cars. I've noticed that so far. To another cutscene. My mother has this saying, it's the farmer that makes the dish. What that means is you have to adapt to the ingredients on in hand. I went to scout one driver, but found another. And I was impressed by a chat, so I made an offer. Wait, you were impressed by a conversation? <laughs> That's right. You see, to me, when a, a person's capable of greatness, it's not just about performance, it's about them who they are. Great drivers are like the great in, in any field. You know, they have an obsession, a hunger. They have a need to be more, to prove what only they know they can be. I haven't met anyone this passionate since I found Yumi. All right. We must have been first here. Number 22 on the grid taking the leap to semi-pro. And as Marcus Adele has gone through all of his reserves, they really are Seneca's last hope. Absolutely. It's a tough position to be in. If they drop out for any reason, Yumi Tanaka will be racing on her own, and that would spell disaster for Seneca. All right. We need to do well here. Moscow. First race with Seneca. Finish 10th or higher. Semi-pro season circuit racing. Okay. All right, 22. Remember what Addo said. Just try and keep up with you, May, and bring the car back in one piece. All right. Let's see what we can do. Nice. There's you, May. Skip all this. And this is your first race. There's no need to push the car to the limit. Just give us a good drive. Follow yeah, you right. this lead. Show See. me what you've got. See, there is some weather on the track. It's a little slick.
Oh no! I was looking down at Reed. Sorry, Kev. I got Rex up here. Pass our teammate. Made out like a bandit there. Touch over steer there. Took out Evan. The objective wasn't a great drive a little bit of rough a uh, little, little bit of rough racing there uh, so I will say that I'm a little surprised that if there's snow on the ground it's not slick I was hoping that the weather dynamics would be a little better there they look great but no change in traction so oh got to continue did not place in the top three but you know what we did what we could oh, I get teammates money too nice Elimination. To win an elimination race, you need to stay out of the danger zone when the timer starts counting down. Because as the title suggests, those in the danger zone when it hits zero will be eliminated. 
The timer is then reset, and the racers closer to the back of the pack will find themselves in the danger zone again. Cars are eliminated and two only one remains, so drive fast, stay ahead, and if you find yourself in the danger zone, then do everything it takes to get out of there. Alright. Alright, elimination race will be up next. We are live to set the team principal mark is the door. How are you feeling about this season? Positive, actually. Our new driver seems to be working well as a team player and not a lone wolf. We're gonna skip some of these talks if you guys wanna watch those. Play the game. Bring us success and make us competitive some great gets of racing. Alright, finish 10th or higher will be the objective here. We need to aim to stay competitive with Volts. That's our path to the Pro League. You're in this team to match me, 22. We need you to get results. Okay, okay. Spot. Get out of my way. Too slow. My wreck. Two people wrecked. Ten racers. Now eight. Oh, I got fucked all right there. Can we get a podium? That'd be tough. 
I like driving that car though, that's nice. Objective complete, on to the next one. My name is Yume Tanaka. I've been lead driver with Seneca for three years now, and my goal is to become the first woman ever to win the championship. Let's talk about your new teammate for a moment. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Marcus Addo hiring an unknown? Look, I don't like to invest in potential, and that's who we are as a team. But when it comes down to it, the thing that matters is, are you actually good enough? It takes serious talent to race across this many disciplines and events in a single season. Skeptical. Racing teams don't survive on effort or good intentions. We need to win. I like her a lot. After the last race, I think Paris will be up next. Will want to answer the critics that say he was outclassed by Seneca number 22. Andy How will he respond on track? Heat. Well, there's only one way to find out. And these stadium trucks are tough. But sharing a run while Stadium trucks, nice. It's a fast track to sliding down the road on your roof. All right. Beat Valentin Menzi. I hope oh, I'm excited. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa. These feel wonky. Whoa. Got on two wheels, though. Okay, good job, Ajit. Feels good. This feels good. What? Whoa, got it on two wheels there. These things feel very different. Again. These things are wild. The jumping feels very wonky. I do not like that at all. Ugly. I am not a fan of these things. V8. 
be fun for the memes. But it's not fun to turn off. See, I just, I just now got on two wheels just going into a corner. It's always at such random times too. It's not, it's not consistent. See, like, oh, we survived. Oh, somebody blown it up in front of me. Oh, sorry, Lori. Let me add some insult to injury there and slap the hell out of you. Somebody blow it up up here. Am I gonna get another spot? I'm on the podium. Oh wait, no, I'm not. That's that's Lori still. All right, that's it. Well done. I'll take fourth. Happy with that. Nice one. I think you may have got uh, second. Uh, yeah, she did. Well done, teammate. All right, done with that one. Those things felt very strange. Like, just very inconsistent. I don't know. I did not enjoy driving those much at all. It'd be fun for the memes, but that's about it. All right, see what's up next. Another cutscene. My name is Ajit Singh. Ajit. I'm Seneca's lead engineer. Is that okay? Cool. Come on in. Welcome to the garage. Now this, this Seems is like a nice baby. Spell. Ultra Icon Mark III, but with a few upgrades. Full electric drive, active suspension, repositioned fuel cells. Look, you can see most of the weight is down here in the chassis. And this one, this is an old friend from last season. Jupiter San Marino. I got this job by betting Marcus Addo I could make an old Eagle Ray Mark IV run faster than the Type 8. And I did it in under a week. Now I work on anything with an engine and a roll cage. Touring cars, muscle cars, like open wheel. If it's good legal, I can build it to win. <laughs> Challenge is finding someone you can drive them all. <laughs> Seems like a pleasant fellow. I like him. All right, so what are we racing now? Anti Dick Steve. What we got against this guy? And with Seneca starting in the faster cars, it'll be a tense wait to launch into the race and hunt down the pack. Finish seventh or higher will be our objective. Okay, so done talking. Let's do it. You need to finish in the top seven. Good luck. <laughs> 
We've got the cars to match faults. Let's put the pressure on. Okay. We're in one and two. Oh, we're starting soon. Okay. The timer's at the top. We ain't seen this yet. Yeah, I guess it's gonna throw us in mid race. Oh, I'm down to 13th. What happened? What happened? D14. There's you, May. Four laps. Where's. Oh, okay. I see the other group on the other side of the track on the minimap down there, so I guess we gotta catch them. Here we go. Roll and start. Sorry, teammate. We just get all into you there. These feel so different compared to those trophy trucks. Tons of grip in these things. Do not take curb on uh, exit of turn two. Starting to catch up to the other group now. Good place to catch those on the street. No curb. Don't trust turn two curb. Alright, we're in P11 on lap three. Oh no, don't touch that curb either. Oh, what happened there? Bad day. Last lap, we're in P8. The last lap was a 58.9. See things flying. Like a piece of a car just came off. Coming for you, Ethan. Oh, oh, what happened there? What? I was driving straight. Oh, ouch. I do not like these big old signs above their heads. Cannot see the track. Seventh or higher, we did that. Objective complete. We got smoked by the slower cars. That is just pitiful. I got time for one more race. Level five. Which means nothing. I don't. I haven't seen anything that has used for you. All right, here we go. Chop it all off if you want to go back over again. Yeah. All right. Be great. I just I hope I don't say anything stupid.
don't record anything stupid, yeah? What's your name? Tom. Tom. Lovely to meet you. Tom? You all right, dear? Tom? <laughs> oh, okay, let's get this started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Valentin Manzi, and I'm a 10-time grid world champion. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've, I've never actually won. <laughs> I've come close, though. Okay, what a character. Oh, Escalar. America. A difficult result for Seneca 22 there. What? Heard the new driver brought the tail off that you mom? Yeah, I still haven't nailed down that new braking system yet. Are you on board with this? Bringing in some amateur this close to the start of the season. You were some amateur until Ada hired you. <laughs> Thought you had a Dumont to fix. Oh, I love that guy. He seems so cool, man. Really Dubai. Oh, we're at war. Always. All right, a rivalry is settled. Beat Valentin Manzi. Okay. You need to be Valentin Manzi for us to be on course. Twenty first, got a lot of work to do. There he goes. <laughs> huh. That's one way to do it. That was dirty. That was filthy. Go you may. I've been first. Oh, missed it. Yikes. Yikes! Oh, oh, poor fella. Do you have to see that? Oh, my gosh, I do not know this track whatsoever. I'm hitting every wall. Oh my gosh, again? Oh, I'm so bad at that section of the track. I should not be P3. Sorry, Kevin. On, I'd be... Hit them one too many times. I'd be my nemesis too, if I'm just being honest. Objective complete. Look at us, one and two finish. Got Team Seneca. All right, now back to the main menu. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do an online race. I'm gonna do one of these, 
and then that will be it. That will be the one hour mark. So let's go ahead and try it. Search session. I'll just leave it on any every, everything. Let's look at the session list. Uh, in session, in session, round end, in lobby. Uh, sure. We'll try this one. Oh, all right. Right now there's four of us, and now we wait. Well, online session was uh, a fail. I tried to join in three different lobbies, and I've sat here for about 35 minutes. And uh, I'm done. So, we're going to move on. I'm going to go ahead and give you my full review. Uh, I enjoy playing the game. Uh, it's very arcadey. It's definitely not simulation by any shape or form. But uh, like I said, you'll see the full review here in just a minute. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. We'll see you in a minute. All right, all right, all right. Gameplay done. I have a list of pros and cons that we can go over, and I'll give you my full review at the end. Uh, but we'll go ahead and start with the pros of the game. The car sounds. I think the car sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, they've nailed that to a T. Uh, second thing would be the scenery and track design. Uh, the things that are going on around the track are really, really cool. Uh, the tracks themselves look great. Uh, all the scenery works together like it should. All the animations are really nice. Uh, the game looks incredible. Uh, the third thing would be the crossplay. I really enjoy that you can do a uh, crossplay in between platforms. That's a huge plus for any game. So uh, well done, EA Sports. Uh, and fourth thing would be the story. I really enjoyed the story myself. I can see it being a little cheesy and some people not enjoying it, but uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I mean, it gives you something to do, gives you something to work for, gives you something to care about the game and the racing for. So I, I enjoyed that. And the last thing would be the online lobbies. I think in any racing game, online is huge. You gotta have online lobbies so you can uh, create relationships, you know, create events, stuff like that. So the online lobbies were very seamless, it seemed like. You could, you could host it straight from the game itself. You don't even have to uh, do anything outside of the game to uh, pile up with your friends and have a good time. So uh, really good, really good job there. Now, moving on to the cons of the game, which I have five of them that uh, I can think of right off. Uh, the first one would be the car variation in the driving styles. Um, all the cars kind of feel the same. Besides the, the trophy truck that I drove, uh, it did feel very wonky. Like it definitely feels like a like a trophy truck, like you have no grip, you have no stability in the corners and stuff like that. But the other cars, they all feel very, very similar. Um, it doesn't give you much variation uh, around the board there. All right, second thing would be the AI weakness. Um, the AI is very weak in the back back part of the grids. Like you can pass them very, very easy. And the ones at the, the front of the grid drive so erratic that it's, it's not really fun to drive around them. So I would say the AI definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, the third thing would be the no car damage. I didn't receive any car damage or or like I could hit the wall at 100 miles an hour and it would make no difference. I was not uh, not impressed with the car damage physics there. So uh, definitely need some work on that. Uh, the fourth thing would be the money sink. I'm not a fan of buying a game and then having to buy a lot of uh, upgrades to make the game feel better. I think there should have been some free content on top of the DLC. But um, that doesn't seem to be the case, and it is what it is. But uh, I guess it's a business at the end of the day. And the, uh, the fifth thing would be the most important thing for me, which would be that it's lackluster. Like, there's nothing that really sets this game apart from other racing games. It didn't impress me. Like, I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. But um, just nothing sets it apart from the rest of them. It just, it just feels like a copy-paste from uh, other games. So that's what I got to say about the cons. All right, now moving on to the overall review and what I think about that. Uh, first thing would be, would I recommend this game? No, I just would. I think it's I think it's a fine game. Like, don't get me wrong, if you have the game and you enjoy the game, that's fine. Me personally, I just felt like it was just like uh, any generic arcade racer. Like, uh, just hop in a car, go fast, hit the brakes. You can smash into other cars, no, no uh, repercussions of it. So to me, I wouldn't recommend the game. Uh, you can have your own opinion, of course. Uh, the second thing would be, was it worth the price? Um, for me, I got it for free on the uh, Prime Day through Amazon. So uh, for me, yeah, definitely worth the price. But is it worth the price for everybody else? I would say no. Unless you get it on sale, maybe. Uh, coming in at $59.99 on Steam right now. Um, I would not recommend this game for $60. No way, no shape, no form. You'd have to get it on a very deep discount to get this game. Ah, I, I think so. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you agree or disagree, 
But um, for me, okay. That was fun. While well, it lasted, I'll probably never load the game up again. Uh, nothing against the game itself, but just was not impressed overall. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got for today. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you agree or disagree. I'm sure some of you out there that are watching this video have played it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, for me, it is what it is. But anyways, you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you all enjoy the video, and we'll see you in the next one.